Why can't blondes count to 70? Because they always have a mouthful at 69. No more 69 jokes. It's time to get serious because we're ready to take on the third member of the Elite Four. So let's head down this hallway into the next room and see who it is. Well, if you didn't guess by the room, it's an ice type. So I'm going to start off with Hariyama because fighting is good against ice and... Let's talk to you. Welcome, my name is Glacia of the Elite Four. I've traveled from afar to Hoenn so that I may hone my ice skills. But all I've seen are challenges by weak trainers and their Pokemon. What about you? It would please me to no end if I could go all out against you. So yes, this is the third member of the Elite Four, Glacia, the ice type master. Um, and against Glacia, the two best types are probably going to be fighting and electric. Now obviously, like, fire is good against ice and rock, but... A lot of our Pokemon are actually part water type, which means Electric's going to have a good advantage, and like Fire and Rock types are going to be kind of at a disadvantage. So anyways, first up is her Glalie. It knows Hail, Light Screen, Ice Beam, and Crunch. Um, Glalie is pretty balanced overall. It's got pretty much this... Yeah, it's all of its stats are the same, so it's not like weaker in physical or special defense. So if you have a Fighting, Fire, uh, Rock, anything like that that's super effective, go ahead and use it. Um, I think I'm just going to use Brick Break, because I know this thing has good special attack. Um, and if I tried to set up bulk ups, I might not be able to survive any of its Ice Beams for more than one hit. So, yeah, and it's usually going to use Hail at the beginning. Um, and that's actually kind of annoying, because uh, that's going to be there for a lot of the battle. And that's going to hit you every single turn, so, yeah, you're going to have to deal with that. Um, it's not really a ton of damage, but it adds up over time. And none of her Pokemon are going to take that damage. And there's the Ice Beam I was talking about. It's probably going to do a pretty good chunk. Um, I don't have the Thick Fat ability, so I don't resist Ice types. I have uh, the Guts ability, in case you're wondering. But yeah, there we go. We're going to take out that Glalie there. Um, really, if, if you can avoid letting it put up Light Screen, you're in good shape. Because if you're using Electric types, that's going to be very annoying. Um, however, if you're using Fighting, you don't really need to worry about that. But I'm actually going to switch out because... Um, I don't know, I thought Goron originally was going to be able to sweep, but then I kind of realized that, yeah, I'm not going to be able to get too far using bulk up. So I'm going to try Athena out just for a bit and see how that goes. Now, this Celio here is ice and water type. It knows uh, Surf, Ice Ball, Hail, and Body Slam. So it's got some pretty good attacks, and it also has Hail, which it can set up. Um, I'm going to try to use some Calm Minds and boost up my special attack and special defense. Mainly because I know I can take Surfs and Ice Balls by using Call Mind. Um, I also have Reflect in case I need to worry about Body Slam. So, for me at least, this is a really good Pokemon to set up on. Um, and I'm going to be able to take those Surfs even better each turn the more I use Call Mind. So yeah, Celio, uh, you fought one against Wallace, so you kind of have an idea of how to take it out. It's not fully evolved, so it's not too bad to deal with right now, so... Um... At least, for a lot of you guys, if you want to set up with stat boosting moves, this is a great Pokemon to do it with, especially if it's going to be um, Calm Mind or something like that. Um, it could differ from you. You might be better off setting up against Glalie, but personally, this works best for me. So I'm going to use a Hyper Potion to get all my health back, and we'll see what it does. Okay, it's going to use Surf. Now, Surf's barely going to do crap because I have a bunch of Calm Minds. And the Hail stops, so it actually might use Hail this turn. I'm going to use another Calm Mind. I want to get up as many as I can. Um... And, yeah, just so I can make sure I can sweep through the whole team. And, yeah, whenever she can use Hail, she's probably going to, so... Um, if the Hail stops and one of her Pokémon is in that knows Hail, you can pretty much count on it using Hail, so... You might be able to use that to your advantage, knowing what move she's going to use. And, yeah, another Calm Mind, so my Special Attack and Special Defense are looking really great right now. Um, Surf and all that stuff isn't going to do a lot of damage, but Body Slam might! And, okay, it didn't kill me. So, yeah, eventually I'm going to probably set up a Reflect. Um, and that's going to be really nice. Actually, hmm, should I do that now? Or should I heal? Actually, hold on. Uh, I think Reflex is the best way to go because I can take another Body Slam. I think the last one did something like 35. It went from 70 to 35, something like around that area. So I can definitely live another one. Oh, but I got paralyzed. Well, this is a good example right here of why you want to have uh, full restores. And if this hail kills me, I'm going to be pissed. Okay, good. That didn't do a lot. So yeah, this is why you want full restores. Um, this is why I recommend bringing them. They heal your status and your health. And you definitely don't want to take two turns healing that up. So that's why it works really nicely. And Body Slam isn't going to do a ton, obviously, because I have my Reflect up. 
Um, I knew that move was going to come in handy, reflect. Um, but anyways, yeah, let's go ahead and, um, I don't know why I clicked the bag. Let's just kill this with a Thunderbolt right now, and move on with the battle. And guys, it's time to do some sweeping, so get the brooms out. Oh, I love that saying. Get the brooms out at sweeping time. So yeah, Celia's going to go down, and, um, yeah, two down, three more to go. And Athena is in great shape, and she's going to send out her second Glalie. Yeah, she has two of them. Um, talked about Glalie a bit before, pure ice type. Um, all even stats. This one knows Hail, Shadow Ball, Ice Beam, and Crunch. So it's actually a little bit different. This one knows Shadow Ball. Um, that's kind of annoying for me, but luckily I have the Reflect up because Shadow Ball is a uh, physical attack in this game. A lot of people don't know that, but Ghost is physical, so I can take that hit. But just keep that in mind. It's probably not normally going to really matter because you probably aren't going to use Psychic types. Um, but keep that in mind if you are using a Psychic type that that one does know Shadow Ball. And yeah. So next up is Celio again. Yeah, she has two Glalies and two Celios. This one's also at a bit higher level. Um, it knows Hail, Blizzard, Attract, and Dive. Now, Blizzard is super crazy powerful. We all know this. And Attract, um, if you have male Pokemon, watch out for Attract. If you have females that you can use, that probably works best because, uh, I don't know, I guess in the Pokemon world, females and females don't like to go together. It's not like the real world because, you know, if you've ever been to California or something. Anyways, uh, I don't know why I just clicked Psychic. That was a complete mistake. And wow, seriously. Ah! I completely meant to use Thunderbolt, but I just clicked Psychic. Look, see how awesome that is? Blizzard barely did anything because of my Calm Minds, but let's see. My Reflect wore off, so, um, I could either heal or use Reflect. Let's go ahead and heal, I think. Um,. I'm not positive that I'd, live, I'd probably live a body slam, but I don't know, I just want to be on the safe side. Plus, I don't want to be um, in trouble with low health when the next Pokemon comes in. And yeah, she, what were they thinking? She's gonna, Of course she's going to use a full restore. Wow, I, I don't know, that was just stupid of me. I completely forgot. Sometimes I do that. But yeah, let's kill it with a Thunderbolt right now. And even though we don't have up a Reflect, we're at full health for our final Pokemon, so I'd say we're in pretty good shape, especially with all of our Calm Minds. Um, and yeah, down goes the Celio. so... Oh, and Athena got to level 40, so her last Pokemon is a Whalerin. Yeah, this thing is a super pain. Um, ice and Water type, the evolved form of Celio, and knows Surf, Body Slam, Blizzard, and Sheer Cold. Sheer Cold is an automatic one-hit kill. Doesn't matter if you have a level 3000 Arceus, if Sheer Cold hits you, it's going to kill you automatically. Luckily, it's very inaccurate, though, so it's not a big concern, but this thing is definitely challenging. It's got Surf and Blizzard, two very powerful special attacking moves. It also has Body Slam, so um, if you don't have an uh, offensive strategy like me with Thunderbolt, um, I would definitely send out something with pretty good special defense to take moves like Blizzard and Surf. And obviously you can still use Body Slam, so this thing can definitely do a lot to you. Um, that's why that's what makes it her hardest Pokemon by far, but of course Thunderbolt's going to kill it because we got a bunch of Calm Mind boosts. Normally it's not going to be that easy to kill though, it's got really good HP and all that too, so you know. Um, fighting and electric types obviously, obviously work the best against that, but, you know, I have all the super effective moves in the description in case you want some more info on that, because that Pokemon is definitely very challenging. So anyways, that is it. We got three Elite Four members down. We got one more to go in the Elite Four, so stay tuned for the next episode. We're heading to the final room.